Start for my morning walk, May 24th. And I think it's a little past 8 o'clock. A little late getting going. I had to run up to the other end of town this morning, so I'm just sort of ending my uh, tour to do that with this tour. Incorporated into my morning walk. Yeah, nice morning. Not too much wind, but that's picking up again today. So I think today I'm going to pack up the bike with all my stuff and take it for a ride. I'll do my 45k loop with it just to see how that feels. It's going to be heavy, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out. But certainly give it a try. Well, no try, we got to do. No trying involved. But I'm guessing just low gears and just not look to be in a hurry and it should be good. So I'm just coming up on Macquarie Point here. Just my destination every morning. I've videoed through here already once. See the boat slips behind me. Oh, there's actually boats in there. That's the first time I've seen boats in there. Well, it's good to see it's getting used. Okay, so I'll just have a quick look here. Quarry Point. <clears throat> yeah, pretty still morning right now. But that's gonna change. I actually feel a bit of wind now. I just heard a train horn. Must have been a truck. We don't have trains anymore in this area. Somebody down there fishing. morning for it. Anyways, I think we'll just head back. I'm not going to hang out here too long because the mosquitoes are out. So, I shall head back immediately. And I got to charge this camera. Oh, man. Yeah, pretty nice. Anyways, <clears throat> yeah. I really miss mornings that I don't start my day with this. It does set the tone for the rest of the day when I'm out here, first thing. But yeah, I was out, uh, set up a hammock yesterday. I think I got it in a nice, uh, easily deployable situation now. So, just find two trees, click, click, stake, stake, and we're done. It's pretty comfortable. I was a little disappointed that the uh, bottom entrance didn't exist. But I think it was still a good unit regardless. So yeah, I'm gonna go do a 45 today with uh, all the camping gear. See how that works out. Then I just gotta start uh, plotting a route for my first trip. I still gotta get some food ideas together and uh, personal hygiene to take with me. Figure that all I get. But, uh, day research will get that done. I guess if I'm at the stage where I just worried about food, we're uh, pretty much there then. I still need an underpad for my stuff though, but I might take enough clothing, I'll just use that as an underpad. I do want to take a sweater, a pair of pants, and a change of short shirts and everything. So thinking uh, dirty or not dirty, that I can just lay in the bottom of the hammock and I can put my sleeping bag on top of it. Because I did notice just laying there, wind is probably cutting me out maybe. 
I did notice laying there that uh, my back was a bit cold just a few minutes I was there. But it was pretty windy, so. The only thing is, if I shelter myself from the wind, then you get the mosquitoes. I think I'd rather have the wind. But anyways, uh, I'm not going to drain the battery too much more because I want to get the uh, excuse me get this charged before I take off today. Yeah, this is such a nice walk. Quick look here. So. I think I'll shut her down for this time and I'll probably be back at it later this afternoon. Until then. Okay, I just came across a whole bunch of turkey vultures. There's a few in this tree, one there, a couple up there. We go across the river. Why they congregated here? So I just headed out on my uh, ride. I'm gonna go 45k, and this is the way I got my bike packed right now. First aid kit, tool kit. We got clothing in the world famous bag. Bag behind it has cooking stuff, a bit of food, canned food. Um, something else in there too, I forget right now. Uh, kettle, something else, I can't quite remember what it is. Uh, my carry is four liters of water. That'll get me going pretty much for the day. And my tent and uh, sleeping bag is in this one. And she's a heavy bike. But I'm kind of uh, surprised at... Uh, how well it's pedaling even into the wind it's not so bad so yeah with the added weight I'm actually finding the wind riding a bit easier uh, I think with the weight it keeps your momentum going so I wasn't expecting that um, I'm just a short ways out too I think I've gone maybe a kilometer and a half at this point so I'm still pretty fresh no I've gone to a 2.8 yeah it's uh it's a lot easier than I was expecting even into the wind so that's good, and I did get a, a bear bell. Take the magnet off and activate that now. Yeah, I'm uh, quite surprised, and it looks like everything's sort of holding up. Uh, you can tell I don't have the one bag as full as this one. This one's still empty, and the water's sagging down into it a bit, but. Uh, other than that, it's a pretty even weight. And uh, we'll see how I fare after 45. I'm hoping I can at least uh, do 50K a day with all this weight. I'm thinking it shouldn't be a problem. Walking the bike is actually harder than riding it. Because it uh, you know, wants to flip one way or the other. So once I'm on it, it's fine. So I'm gonna carry on and uh, See where I end up. All right, we're back at our western culvert. And the birds are playing, I see. So yeah, I'm 15K out and that ride was actually pretty good. I was quite impressed. There's a lot of weight on that bike and it rode actually better than if I had no weight. Especially into the wind. I think the wind is uh, the wind benefits really good. So I just thought I'd stop here and uh, kind of get eaten alive by the looks of it. Whether well, I'm going to be here very long. But I thought I'd uh, just show off this. Oh, yeah, I got to get out of here. I didn't bring any. Br I did bring bug spray, but I don't feel like putting it on just for a couple minutes. Not quite the middle of nowhere, but certainly on the way to it.
Taking a picture of the orchids, they've just started to bloom or grow. Get focused in on that or not. Can't really see in this green with the sun in my eyes, but well, be sure I'm fairly close. Zoom back out to be sure here. Let's bring the camera in closer. Here, manual zoom. Yeah, so another few weeks before they bloom. I just took a bunch of pictures, so I figured I'd shoot this video real quick. Okay, this is the area I shot here about oh, a week ago. And I mentioned it's much better when the leaves are growing in a bit more. And here we are. Very nice. And trail goes around the corner. Okay. And here's the escarpment again. Can't even see it now. Can't even see it now. Nothing but leaves in front of it now. Awesome. All right, we're in Lilac Gardens. And almost a little bit too late on some of this. But there's still lots in bloom. The air is just fragrant. So I took like 150 pictures through here one year. So I'm not really interested in doing that again. But I figured I'd just walk through the video maybe. Yeah, all these ones are done. Bit of a blurb there. I'm not gonna stand here and read it. I'll read it when I look at the video. Pretty nice though. Wow, it smells great here. Absolutely fantastic. Another sign. Okay, read that later too. And all these are different, uh, different varieties. Wow, they smell amazing. Ooh, fragrant. I wonder if I should be smelling these. I wonder if they all smell different. <clears throat> Yeah, pretty much the same, but probably a bit lighter, a bit heavier on some, I guess. Ooh, that smells amazing. <clears throat> Those are amazing. I like that. That's one of my favorites right there. That's one of my favorites. I like the uh, color on the outside. Oops, color on the outside. Yeah, that's amazing. Ooh, that one. It's like a glove. I just stuck my nose right in the middle of that. Ooh. I got that. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, real men don't do this. Whatever. Bite me. It's my day. I'll do what I want. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I can't record the smells. I wish I could. I guess you can just get some lilac air freshener. Okay, I'm still in lilac gardens, and I thought I was at the end of all these. You can see them behind me. But I came around the corner, and there's another field of them. <laughs> However, I don't think I'm going to bother videotaping that one. I'm, I'm 
kind of getting a little nauseous from smelling them at this point, so I think I'm just going to travel through the path and get going. But I just thought I'd point that out. That's kind of funny. I thought I was done. So yeah, there's a ton of Okay, I know I said I wasn't going to do any of the lilacs in this field. However, on closer examination, these are dedicated trees. They all have plaques at them. Here. So I don't know whether it's cool to be taping the or videoing these, but it's kind of uh, interesting. I didn't realize you could get a tree dedicated. Volunteer plaque. Yeah, there's plaques all over these. Uh, there's one in there. It's kind of overgrown, but. Yeah, so I'm not going to go around videotape all these, but I just kind of look like run-of-the-mill lilacs, just like all the others we saw, so not, nothing really uh, special here.